everybody so today I'm filming a video where I am testing out some new products from Rimmel these are a few new products that they've recently brought out if you hadn't seen yesterday's video that, that I uploaded which is actually um, an opening my Rimmel Vox box video then go and check that out and you will like understand um, all about influencer and Rimmel and everything like that um, these products were sent to me for free and I do have to state that so anyway I'm gonna go and test these products and we're gonna see how they work I'm really excited this is my first impressions and I will give my absolute honest review on them so let's get you in a little bit closer so the first thing is actually something that I wanted to test out yesterday so that I could give kind of a full review on today and that is the Rimmel nail polish and this one's in the shade Ruby Crush and I wanted to try this yesterday so that I could see kind of how long it wears for in overnight and throughout the day how it first applies that kind of thing and this is what it looks like there when I first applied it onto my nails I was actually shocked at how like how much coverage it was it does cover so much and I never thought I would say that about a nail polish but considering it's kind of shimmery I thought you'd have to apply like a million coats but no it's really really good it dried within five minutes no smudging happened to start with and it was completely fine for the whole day my nails were spotless there was no chips or anything having been in the shower this morning there are a few chips like on this one here sorry I'm swearing at you um, there's a few chips on my nails which is kind of poor you know you shouldn't be expecting to see chips like this based on being in the shower um, but it is glittery and I think it's mainly because I'm tugging on the glitter which pulls the rest of it off so if you put a top coat on then maybe that would be better but I would rate this product in terms of just everything about colour and lasting power and everything I would rate this a seven and a half out of ten I do actually quite like this so the next product I'm going to be trying are actually some eyeliners so as you can see I've done foundation um eyeshadow eyebrows all that kind of thing just everything that I don't have here and I'm going to try and attempt to do an eye look involving a black and a gold eyeliner these are the ink me iron body liners that they sent me so I'm going to have a little go who knows what's going to happen I won't be able to talk whilst I do this so I'll have to see you in a minute so we'll try and zoom you in a little closer you know when you just don't know where to start oh my god I don't even have a mirror am I a fool I need a mirror okay we can do this Georgie we can do this to be fair, if I'm honest with you, this is way too long. I'm struggling. I'm having to go like this instead of just my, my usual kind of... So this is way too long. So far, I've spotted that fault. Oh my God. Georgie, you are awful. Not so... Actually, that's not too bad. Okay, I'm going to go up in my mirror and just kind of tidy that up a little bit. So I've now done both sides. This one I'm actually quite happy with. So if I show you up close, this is what it looks like. I'm quite happy with it. Um, this side, however, mm, not happy with this side. Look at that. What is that? Oh, good God. Is that a bit better? Hopefully. So anyway, that's my attempt at eyeliner. Um, it applied semi-easily. I kind of struggled with the fact that the wand was quite long. Um, it was quite thick in terms of like the actual consistency of the product itself was um, quite kind of, I don't know, thick. So you didn't have to coat, do coat after coat after coat. It's really black, which is good. Um, it's very precise, which is good. I'm just not very good with doing this eye. I can do this eye, kind of. Um, this eye, no. So that's why we are not looking at this eye. We are looking at this one today. So now I'm going to do gold and I'm going to try and add gold on top of that. Um, so just above that. And I don't know what I'm playing at, but I'm just going to try, so let's see how this goes. It's rubbing off part of the black that's underneath it and it's mixing part of that black with the gold. Okay, I'm going to go and try and see what's happening in the mirror. Okay, so I've done the eyeliner and I'm actually quite happy with that. Like that looks actually pretty decent. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it down here. 
because I am. Um... Okay, and it just adds a little bit of shimmer in the inner corner. I actually do quite like this product and the reason why I like it is because it is so subtle like it is actually really subtle like you wouldn't be able to tell i've got that on now but as soon as you get up close you can see it which i actually really really like so it's quite a subtle product um it does mix in with the black eyeliner so you do have to kind of be careful with that i did have to go back in and reapply some of the black eyeliner but you know if you're fine with doing that then do it um if you've got time to do this then yeah i quite like that um there's not really much else i would do for this look but yeah and i just popped it below here just to kind of do something different so yeah that's my eyeliner done i do quite like that it is nice um i would rate the black eyeliner a i kind of feel like i would rate it a seven and a half out of ten as as well and then the gold one i would probably like i wouldn't need it and it's not the most gold kind of bam like you only really see it when you catch the light so i would probably give this a seven out of ten right. the next thing i'm trying is they is their mascara so this is supposed to be voluminous and also um long and whenever i do winged eyeliner i always want my lashes to be really long it just looks so much better when that happens so let's give it a try the applicator is quite large wow immediately noticing the length wow i am noticing a lot of length being added to that i am going to do two coats just to see It kind of does clump together a little bit, like your lashes start to clump rather than separate, which is not, you know, what I was going for, if I'm honest. Um, but, you know, you just got to be careful. Okay, so these are my lashes done. They are a lot, lot longer than I would ever usually go for. They've lengthened a lot, like this mascara is definitely lengthening. Um, volumizing, it is also incredibly volumizing, as you can probably see um and it does clump a little bit but i i quite like that product actually i re i do actually really like this um so on my first impressions i would rate this product probably an eight and a half out of ten now i'm going to try out all three of these um lip art lip products so that's what i'm going to do now um i've talked about these in my previous video so go and check that out if you want to you know look at um the shades and what they are but they're meant to be lip toppers so you have to kind of have an already have a lipstick on before you put them on so i'm going to start off with the shade blush gold which is the one i first talked about in last video i did and i'm going to get a normal matte nude and it's quite a cheap mua one so it's not the best um so let's see if it can kind of give this a little bit more life So that's the matte lipstick on its own. That's the MUA one. Now I'm going to put on the lip topper. Whoa. First impressions, the smell of it smells like... What does it smell like? It smells like cucumber. That's what it smells like. What's in the ingredients? Okay, so... This is what the peachy one looks like when it's just on your lips. Um, it is quite shiny. This is when it's on a plain nude colour. So I do think it kind of matches the rest of the makeup, but I do think because the matte colour is quite pale that it does look a little bit too pale. Um, but that's probably not the fault of the actual product. It makes your lips look a little bit more plump, shiny. And yeah, I do quite like this particular shade. Um... It's not too out there. It's kind of like an average lip gloss with that extra oomph of kind of glitter and that kind of thing. So I'd rate this particular shade a... Hmm, I think I would use this a lot. So I think I would rate it um, an 8 out of 10. So I'm just getting a lipstick from Essence. It's a brown one. And I'm going to put the gold one in the centre of this because I think that might look quite nice. So that lipstick's applied. I would usually line my lips so it look a little bit nicer. Um, but I'm now going to take this goldy yellow one, which is in the shade gold. Um, and I'm going to try and apply this kind of, because it is quite pigmented. So I'm going to apply this in the center here. Um, 
and do that. So this is basically, that is what I would do if I was going to a festival. This is the kind of thing I would not be able to wear on an everyday basis. When you're doing kind of like a Christmassy look or mainly a, a festival, you would do this kind of look to your lips potentially and that looks really cool, it looks nice, obviously you'd have everything else going on and that's kind of what I would go for. So I'm not gonna just apply this all over my lips and make it look kind of dreadful and yellow, I'm gonna do it how I would do it. So it's not something that you could wear on an everyday basis but it's definitely something you could wear for a festival. I really like the pigmentation of it, the colour looks really nice with this brown, I like how I've done it myself. This is how they actually used it how they actually used it on the picture is like this. So it's um, it's like this. So they kind of just scattered it across. But I think that looks a little bit odd. This looks odd, but to a festival it looks pretty fine. Um, so yeah, I'd rate this one. If you're using it for a festival, and if that's the purpose of it, I would give this a 9 out of 10. If you're looking for an everyday thing, I would probably give this a six out of 10 because you, you'd struggle to kind of make it look subtle. So I've now got another lipstick which is from Essence again and it's in kind of like a purpley shade as you can probably see. So I'm gonna pop this on first. So the lipsticks on, you can tell it's a purpley kind of shade and I'm gonna pop this holographic um, lip topper and this is in the shade Pearlescent. So let's see what this looks like and I'm gonna start in the center. Okay, so I just popped that in the center and if you just pop it in the center, it kind of makes your lips look quite um, plump and I don't know it just makes them stand out. I'm now going to put it on the rest of the lips because I think it looks a bit odd just like this. So this is my lips with the whole thing on. I actually really like that. This is a lip combination that I would definitely go to even for an everyday basis. It's not as holographic as I thought it would be. It's quite shimmery, it's quite shiny and I think that looks quite nice. I would definitely pair those two together at again um, but it's definitely something that you could just put kind of in the center of your lip um, or whatever you want but this is definitely something you could wear every day. Um, I quite like this so I'm going to give this an eight and a half out of ten. Okay that's everything makeup wise tested on my face so this is kind of the finished look um, looking at some of their products. I'm now going to test out some of the tattoos. Um, I'm only going to do a couple because um, I am just to test if they work but then I am probably going to do like a proper kind of festival planned out festival makeup look and I can use these in that at some point so I'm not going to waste them now um, okay so there's two sheets that come in here so there's quite a lot um, you get stuff that you could kind of put um, on your head I'm actually going to put it on my arm so the instructions say Remove clear sheet and press decorated side to your skin facing down. Okay, so I've cut this little star out here and I'm going to stick that on. So you peel off the outer surface and then I think you put it face down. So I'm actually going to put it on my wrist like this. So I'm just going to press that on. Oh, for God's sake, I don't know where I put the instructions. Hang on. Yeah, it says um, press wet cloth firmly against the tattoo and hold for 30 seconds. So I've got myself a wet cloth and I'm going to press press firmly and hold down for 30 seconds. Okay, it's been 30 seconds. Let's see if it's done it. So we're going to peel it off together. <gasps> it's done it. Wow. Oh my God, that looks so cool that's done that so well i'm really excited about that oh um so yeah that's that i could put some on my face but i'm gonna do that in a kind of tutorial so yeah very happy with that that looks so cool that looks so cool i'm so happy with that it says to rinse it off you just literally rinse it under warm water and then it will be removed also, I'm going to rate this product based on my first impressions a 9 out of 10 or maybe even 9.5 because this is cool, but it will probably rub off quite easily. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10.
literally i was not expecting it to work i'm i'm such a pessimist i never expect anything to work or anything like that um so i think that's today's video so thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing my first impressions and yeah please subscribe down below for some more videos and i will see you in my next video oh and also i hope you have a very good christmas because this is my last video going up before christmas goodbye